Hi friends, using Blue Tech, myself Hansraj, and this is a part two of BCI. And if you doesn't see part one, then click on a card, you will get my video, which is BCI part one. And I strongly recommend it. First, goes and see that video, then come on this video. So let's begin with further time wasting. So let's talk about BCI in brief. Basically, BCI means that you are using your brain signals to control any outer devices without any physical contact. For example, you are using your brain signals to control any outer devices like you are using your hand movement. Then similarly, वो भी रोबोटिक आम इस तरीके से बिहेव कर रहा है। Then wheelchair को move करना चाहते हैं, आप simply उसके बारे में सोचिए आपके brain में and आप wheelchair को move कर पाएंगे। तो आप सोच सकते हैं कि technology कितना futuristic है। Basically जो topic है ये types of BCI के बारे में। BCI के total three types होते हैं, which is invasive, non-invasive and partial invasive। Let's begin with the invasive brain computer interface. Invasive, invasive का मतलब होता है injury, means इस type में आपके brain में surgery करना पड़ता है, means आपके scalp and skull को open करके electrode को fit करना पड़ता है आपके grey matter और brain में. And actually grey matter क्या होता है? Image देखिए आप समझ जाएंगे कि grey matter कौन सा part होता है आपके brain में. Basically यहाँ पे जो rich in tissue है, वो बहुत ही high होता है, क्योंकि यहाँ पे directly आपके brain के अंदर inorganic material को fit किया जा रहा है. And ये जो error है, इसको कहते हैं Utah error, जो कि work करता है LFP technology पे, means local field potential. And ये जो technology क्या करता है, कि एक minimum distance से ही कोई भी voltage को capture कर लेता है. And आपको मैंने पिछले वीडियो में explain किया कि किस तरीके से जो neurons हैं, वो produce करता है electrochemical signal कोई भी message को send करने के लिए आपके body में. And वही signal को capture करता है ये error. And वो जो signal होता है, एक तरीके से voltage होता है. इसका voltage होता है सिर्फ 70 millivolt. And अगर इसको compare करें एक real life example से, तो आपके जो remote का XL होता है, जो कि होता है 1.5 volt का, उससे 22 times less होता है. तो मैं सब सोच सकते हैं कि इसे कितना कम and this area is the size of 3 to 10 micrometer and this is only isolated with a single neuron and after capturing the signal from the brain by the same process, digitizing, processing and then it is sent to the output desired device for get a desired action so let's move on to type 2 which is partial invasive you have to do surgery but here the risk of damage and damage of the tissue is less but here the signal is weak basically here we use the RF electrode which is fit on the durometer or the durometer and this electrode is called brain penetrating electrode and this is working on ECO technology means electrocorticography technology and this is a neuropsychological method to capture the brain from your brain and this is special easy for you because Nemi is called electrocorticography means to capture the signal from your brain and this is working on non-bacterial and disposable steel because you have a brain, if we add some inorganic things then there is a chance that it can be infected and this is disposable for you and this area is so flexible that you don't have any harm from your normal brain movement because your brain is continuously moving according to the situation and that's the same process after capturing the signal from the brain after capturing the signal from the brain after digitizing, processing and based on the output device Type 3 Non-Invasive which is the best method to capture the signal from the brain Basically, there is no surgery or no harm to the tissue but there is a problem that the signal is very weak Basically, the technology we use is EEG means Electroencephalography and this is an electropsychological method to capture the signal from the brain and for this, you have to wear a headset which is conjunctured by the RF electrode which is positioning on your scalp and face so that you can capture better signal from the brain but here the signal is very weak because you have to do it to amplify and if you don't know about to amplify, let's take a very basic example like you see TV and you have control of the volume and if you keep volume 1 then what happens is that the sound is very loud and as you increase the sound is very loud basically what happens is that you have to do it number 1 volume is very low means that if the frequency is going on then the length of the frequency is very low and as you increase the volume then the length of the frequency means the amplitude is increased this is called amplification so after the same process after digitizing and processing and then it is sent to the output device so here we have three types so let's see the application and limitations the application you can think that it is very important in the field of medical like if someone is paralyzed then his hand doesn't work or his legs are paralyzed then he can use the robotic arm and then he can use the hand and then he can use the hand and then he can use the leg means that he can use the robotic arm and then he can use the hand 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 and in the field of military, biotechnology and AR so now let's talk about limitations basically in today's world we don't have so much good technology available that we can capture the brain signal accurately and fast and the speed of capturing the brain signal is 20 beats a minute and you can think about how slow the speed is and the biggest problem is that this technology is very expensive and if the technology is coming then you have to train your brain with your brain for example if you want to go to the brain then you will reach the leg and reach the leg because you have practiced how to go and how to go and if you have given a wheelchair so you have to learn how to move 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 but the problem is that if you have a person who is paralyzed you have to perform the brain so you have to take the brain from your brain and the powerful signal is generated in your brain and here it reaches the signal a little bit 
एंड आपका एक और क्वेश्चन होगा कि हम खाली मूवमेंट ही करा सकते हैं क्या हम जो हम जो देख रहे हैं उसको भी हम देख सकते हैं कंप्यूटर पे एंड येस यू आर ऑफ कोर्स राइट अगर आप इसको फिट कर देंगे ऑप्सिट पिटल कॉटेक्स में तो आप जो सोच रहे हैं माइंड में आप उसका इमेज भी आप बना सकते हैं कंप्यूटर पे या आप जो देख रहे हैं वो भी आप कंप्यूटर पे शो कर सकते हैं तो इसी के साथ में आप इस टॉपिक खत्म करते हैं अगर आपको पसंद आए तो लाइक करिए शेयर करिए सब्सक्राइब कर दो बाय बाय